the last drill, I have two options for you, and both are very, very simple and easy to set up as well. And one focuses on accuracy and the other on speed, depending on what your personal goals are for shooting. And the first one is good old classic group shooting. So I have a bullseye target set up here, and I'm just gonna take my time and shoot five shots to that center bowl, as close to that center bowl as possible each time. So let's show you how it's done. All right, nice group there. I'm really happy with that, especially at the end of the session. So again, take your time. If you need to bring the gun down, take a rest in between each shot, that's totally okay. The next option is to test your speed. And if you shoot in any sort of practical shooting or defensive shooting competitions or have that as a personal goal, then you'll want to incorporate reloads into your training. So this is a great time to do it. Now I like to practice these so that I shoot them one shot on a target, reload one shot, and I do that over and over until I land a really, really good load and then I stop. So this is what that looks like. Now normally I would shoot on a much larger target. I'm not trying to hit dead center in the middle of the bowl here, um, but you can still practice this skill on any target, whether it's steel or paper. So I'm gonna start with a gun up and out and just focus on a smooth reload. All right, didn't like that one so much. Let's do it again. That was pretty smooth. Come another mag here. I'll do one more. There we go. I like that one a lot. I'm ready to stop. It's a good way to end a perfect practice session. All of these drills are low round count using three target stands or less. Firearm safety is always the priority during your training, but after that, you can customize these drills based on your skill level and goals by adjusting the time limits, the number of rounds you shoot on the target, decreasing or increasing the distance to the targets, changing up the start positions, or even adding reloads and more movement. When it's time to call it a day, I like to put everything back in its place inside my range bag. I'll make a note if any of my supplies have run out or are running low so I can get more. And it's a great time to reflect and plan on the next practice session too.